back here tonight at Stratford Heights. What Brad says is one of the greatest churches in the world. I believe it's a great church because it's full of great people. I think we have the greatest choir in the world, greatest worship minister. We've been truly blessed. Tonight's going to be a special night. Not only do we have the greatest choir in the world leading us in worship, we have a great man of God, Steve Brock, that's come to minister to us tonight. I don't know about you, but I've come all day expecting. I'm waiting for something to happen tonight. I'm waiting to see someone changed, transformed, with hope in their face when they leave this place tonight. So let's get out and shake one another's hands, share some love, and welcome everyone to church. Oh, 
for us And who could ever stop us And if our God is with us Through what can stand against And if our God is for us Then who could ever stop us And if our God is with us Then what can stand
sing it again. Nothing but the love. Nothing. The Bible says, come let us reason together. Let your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. How many of you are thankful tonight for the blood covering over your heart and soul and mind? It's not only that, but the Bible says that he took on his back stripes that were laid for the healing of the nations. How many of you tonight believe that just as much as he is able to save your soul and give you the promise of eternal life, he promises he can keep you all along your journey as you're going. You're healed in Jesus' name, you're delivered in Jesus' name, and you are absolutely victorious tonight. How many of you are more than an overcomer? Now I didn't say how many of you got everything going perfect in your life. I didn't see too many hands on perfection. But how many of you know that we have a great, big, awesome, mighty God and nothing is too hard for him, nothing is impossible with him. And I like what Brother Brock said, he leaned over to me while we were singing the first song and he said, you know what the right translation of that verse is? We were singing, if God, if my God be for me, who can be against me? He said, the right translation is, since God is for me, <laughs> who can be against me? Amen? That's the right truth, that's the word of God. Since we know that God is for us, how many of you believe that tonight? He's for you and not against you. I want you right now, as these are our ministers are up front, I want you to feel comfortable to come forward in prayer. I just came from the hospital to see Chris Brandenburg, who was in the, the AT, uh, what do you call that, AT, ATV. ATV. I call it a four-wheeler. He was in an accident last night. Mr. Bridge went over an embankment and down into rocks. Broke his jaw in about three places, got a broken, fractured neck, and he's got breaks in his back as well. He's sitting up in the bed. I grabbed his hand and I was able to pray with him. I told him, I said, there'll be hundreds of folks tonight praying for you in this service. How many of you are gonna agree with me in prayer for God to do a miracle in that young man's life? We're continuing to pray for Hannah. Hannah Rock, who was in Miami Valley, who was in a traumatic car accident last week. This young lady says her last words to me walking out of the hospital was, Pastor, tears dripping down her face, I will dance again. And I'm believing that with her tonight, are you? We're in agreement. If you want special prayer tonight, the Bible says in James chapter five, if there's any sick among you, let them call for the elders of the church, anointing them with oil, praying a prayer of faith. And I'm believing that prayer is gonna save the sick tonight. Somebody said amen. I want you right now in the name of Jesus to bring every petition to the Father God. If you want special prayer, make your way to the altar now, but let's lift up those needs now to the Father. For Lord, as we come to you, we pray for these special needs that we've called out. We ask you to minister your healing, your deliverance, your power to heal into the hearts, lives, and the bodies of those we're praying for. We lift them up to you, God, and stand by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. We know that you're for us, Lord, you're with us, and that you will be the God that delivers us. So we give you the praise tonight. I pray that you'll meet every need. Those that have come forward for special prayer, we just ask in the name of Jesus for you to meet their needs, whatever it might be, for you're, on, you're not just the God of the little, but you're the God of provision and mighty deliverance and wisdom and grace and truth in our lives. You're the God of salvation and you're the God who heals us. And we thank you tonight in Jesus' name. Praying for Hannah, lifting Chris up to you tonight. In agreement, we pray that, Father, they'll know that healing strength that only comes from your mighty hand. We thank you tonight. We honor you and we bless you as we've come together, gathered in your name for this mighty service to give you the glory and the praise for the good things that you have done. In Jesus' name.
cover me, Lord, cover me, cover me. Peace of God, peace of God, cover me, cover me, Lord, through the storm. receive the tithe and the offering. Have you been blessed this week? If you have a job or an income, you've been blessed. So we want to give God part of that that he has blessed us with. We want to pay our tithes and give in the offering. And we're going to have a special offering tonight, but I want to talk first a minute about the tithe. The Bible said that the tithe belonged to the Lord, and it's holy unto the Lord. And the tithe does not go in a special offering. That is above the tithes. So be sure you pay your tithes instead of putting it in the offering, and then God will honor you and he will bless you. But we're going to take a special offering tonight for a special person. Now, I don't know how many of you actually know Steve Brock or very close to him, but we've been knowing him for years. And if you've been around him just a few minutes, you will realize that the only thing he's interested in is doing God's work. 
So he's a special servant, and we want to give him a special offering. Now, I know most of you probably already have your offering out of your purse or out of your billfold or out of your pocket. I would like for you to either put that back or get another one that's bigger than that one and put with it because we want to give him a good offering. We don't ever want anyone to leave this church and say that we didn't take care of them financially. That would be an indictment on us. And when we give to God's servant, he has promised that he'll give back to us and he will never fail. I've been given for almost 60 years and he has never failed me one time. And he won't and he won't fail you. We're going to do it a little different tonight. I want the ushers to just turn around and face the congregation. And we're going to bring our offering and put it in the plate. And if you, if you need to make out a check and you, you want credit for it, make it out to the church and we'll see that Brother Brock gets it. Or if you don't, just make it out to him. But anyhow, we want to give him a good offering tonight. So, and as soon as we receive the offering, our pastor is going to come and get with the ushers and pray over it. So if you'll stand right now and start bringing your offering and putting in the plate. Thank you.
Glory, hallelujah. Lord, I've never lost my prayer. It was amazing grace. How sweet the sound <laughs> that saved a wretch, a wretch like me. <laughs> I once was lost but now I'm found and I was so blind but now I see Would you stand with me? When we bend that out tonight. Bright shining as the sun. Oh, we've no less things to sing God's praise than that just goes on and says praise God come on church praise God praise God praise God praise God, praise God. Do you have praise something to praise him about tonight has he been good praise to you are you just singing words or is it coming from your heart tonight oh praise God praise God you lift your voice up to him tonight lift your voice and give him praise give him love honor him and bless him tonight he's worthy he's worthy of our praise hallelujah sometimes you know it's good to clap your hands the bible says clap your hands unto the lord and that's praise but there's other times in the Bible where it says, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. How many of you are shouting tonight because you're victorious? We're victorious. Amen. Well, praise God. Turn to somebody and say, it feels good in here. feels good in here. You may be seated. We don't need much introduction. If you were a Christian in the 21st century, you probably are well-versed and you know, Reverend, Pastor, Evangelist, international, Steve Brock. Been knowing this guy and I love telling him this when we were sitting at lunch today, I just love saying stuff like, you know, when I was a boy, wonderful, wonderful man of God. Remember services back when I was at Lee University? Remember traveling all the way down from Dayton, Ohio, down to Princeton Pike when I was just a teenager, just trying to get in and sit in the overflow, as I told you this morning. I'd get in that overflow and I'd sit back there and listen to the preaching and that's what first inspired me and moved me and challenged me in my own discovery of God's call in my own life. And so we are privileged tonight to have this wonderful man of God with us. He's here to preach the gospel. He's here to minister to the kingdom and for the kingdom to the people. And so with no further ado, would you please give him a wonderful Stratford Heights Church of God welcome, Reverend Steve Brock. in the Lord good. Come on, everybody stand to your feet. Everybody stand to your feet. Come on, everybody stand to your feet. Clap your hands again and give praise to the Father. Well, we're here to magnify His name and worship His name. Great to see you in the house of the Lord. 
Join hands with that person that's standing by you. Would you please stretch across the aisle? It's not that inconvenient. Just stretch across the aisle. It's not a body of water, just an aisle. Amen. I go to some churches, it's like they're wading into water. I don't know how far I can reach. It's called SOS, scoot over some. Somebody said, why? Why do you want me to hold hands? Well, I want us to get in one accord. Because I remember a, a group of people that got in one accord and suddenly something happened, amen? It's called Pentecost. You are Pentecostal tonight because 120 people got in one accord, amen? Now, the first thing I want you to do is smile at me. Give me a big old smile. Come on, you can do it. Some of you need to smile. Some of you look like your mother-in-law came to live with you the rest of your life. Smile at I remember one time I said that at Princeton Pike and a brother sitting on the front row, his name was Grady. I will never forget it. Grady looked up at me and he said, mine did, brother, bro. <laughs> Turn around, smile at that person and tell them you look like you've lost at least 10 pounds. If they don't smile back at you, there's something wrong with those folks. You better check their pulse. They may be dead. Amen. I had a lady one time tell me, she said, Brother Steve, I'm so glad you're here. I said, well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. She said, no, 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 no. When you're here, I hold hands with my husband more than any time in the entire year. Threefold prayer that I want you to agree with me with. Number one, the Lord will anoint you to hear the word. You should be as anointed to hear it as I'm anointed to preach it. You're looking at me like, no, no, I'm here. You bless. I can't do that. I can't bless you. It takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do that. The word was written under the anointing for us to receive what it has for us. We need that same anointing. So Lord, anoint my ear to hear, my heart to receive. This, ladies and gentlemen, is your faith gate because faith comes only one way. What? By what? Faith cometh by and hearing by the word of God. So number one, Lord, anoint my ear to hear, my heart to receive. Number two, anoint the preacher. Can't preach without the anointing. I've heard me with the anointing, without the anointing. You don't want to hear me without the anointing because you didn't get all pretty up like you are right now to hear a dead, dried up, ought to be buried sermon. So number two, God anoint the preacher. Number three, let go of your hands. Don't move now. Stay right where you are, but let go of your hands and let that man right there know how much you love and appreciate him. You're a good pastor. Come on, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. They love you, pastor. They love you, amen. Now join hands again, if you will. I didn't come just to enjoy his fellowship. He is always very kind to me, and I love all y'all. I see some of y'all out there that I have pastored, and some of you that I've been knowing through the years. I've been knowing Liz and Virgil for years, amen. And, but it's, I didn't come just to enjoy your fellowship. I came on the tiptoes of expectancy believing the Holy Ghost is gonna have his way in this house. I spoke, literally spoke healing into this house. You can do that, you know it. You can speak it in the name of Jesus. Now somebody said, yeah, I just came just for you to pray for. You don't need me. Yeah, but you gotta pray. No, I don't. It doesn't take me laying my hands on you. Come on, saints. You have something inside of you called the Holy Spirit. That's all you need. He gets more glory out of doing it himself than doing it through a man. Amen, Brother Brock, preach that. That's good, preach that. Now, if you don't amen me on something, I'll say amen myself, amen. He gets more glory out of you walking out that door saying, the Holy Ghost healed me tonight, rather than walking out that door saying, Steve Brock laid his hands on me. And I, See, I don't wanna be a part of it. I want him to get total glory. Did you hear what I said? I want him. So I want you to thoroughly agree. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've been all over the world. Largest crowd I ever stood before was two million people. They were everywhere. But I've stood before crowds less than 10. It don't matter how big the crowd is, it's how big our God is to meet our needs. And I believe he's able to meet your need tonight. I want you to begin right now. And I told pastor, I'm coming believing for God to heal. I want you to start believing that God will heal you right now. So with your hands united together, lift them heavenwardly 
And I want you to start praying. Oh, Lord, anoint me. Oh, Lord, touch me. Come on, pray right out of your heart. I want to hear you pray. Talk to the Lord. Let me hear you talk to the Lord. Let me hear you talk to the Lord. Pray in the Holy Ghost. He is worthy of our praise, worthy. Come on, everybody say it with me right now. Say it aloud and with authority. Father, come on, say it. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint me to hear the word. Anoint the preacher. Meet every need in the altar service. Come on, say it. Meet every need in the altar service. And shout it at him. Devil! Come on, say it. Devil! Devil of sickness. I rebuke you now. I am free right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. If you believe that, I want you to clap your hands and give the Lord a praise. Play the track, Brother Doug. We're going to worship the Lord here tonight. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Boom. Put your hands up. Don't sit down. Help me sing. Come on, everybody stand and help me sing. Put your hands together. Worship the Lord with me. Sing it now. We lift our hands in the sand. We lift our hands. Lift our hands, yeah. And we will praise you. We will praise you, yeah, yeah. How many came tonight to praise and magnify the Lord? Clap your hands and shout, yes. Come on, here we go now. Sing it. In the sand, we clap our hands. Clap our hands, yeah. And we will praise you. We will praise you, yeah, yeah. Come on, sing it, Jesus. I've never seen anybody sing without opening your mouth. Unless you're a ventriloquist. He likes to hear the crow as well as the canary. Come on. And we will praise you for the rest. We will praise you. Sing the song now. Here we go. We sing our song in the sand. We sing our song to give you the glory. Sing our song, yeah. And we will praise you. Now just in case a Baptist came in here tonight, we'll sing it like you sing it, all right? Praise God from whom all you got some Baptists here, Brother Ray. All creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah in the sand. Praise him. Come on, sing it. Jesus. Jesus. Emmanuel. We lift up your name, Heavenly Father. Come in, Messiah. And we will praise you for the rest. I'm going to praise him. Come on, one more time. Here we sing now. Hallelujah in the sand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. We give you the praise. And we will praise you. Every, every day. I'm going to sing his praise. Yeah. We will praise you for the rest of our day. Yeah.
Yeah, come on. Clap your hands and give a praise to the Lord. He's wonderful and we praise him tonight. Or you're seated, turn around, smile real big again at somebody and tell them you're in the right place tonight. And then you may be seated. God bless you as you are. God bless you as you are. I love him tonight. Tell him how much you love him, would you? Bring the track down just a little, Doug, if you will. Mama kosota babalabaya. Worship him. Lift those hands and tell him, I love you, Jesus. This is my favorite song. He's the one that made the heavens, placed the stars up in the sky. He's the one that puts the sparkle in my grandbaby's eyes. I can hear him in the softness of a mother's lullaby. But what's so amazing, so astounding, so glorious, is to realize on a Sunday night in Middletown, Ohio, he's here. <laughs> Did you know he's here? Come on, saints, celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is here. He's the Holy One. Let him be adored. He is here just to worship him. Did you know that's, that's your greatest reward? He is here. How many believe he's here tonight? In our midst. Then freedom is here. Power is here. Glory is here. Anointing is here. If you believe he's here tonight, you see our father saw us in our bondage. He knew that we would die. So he sent his son, Jesus. And he paid the sacrifice with his power. Blood he bought, hallelujah. With his blood he bought my soul. He made us sons and daughters. Come on, saints, worship him this hour. He's here. Let's celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is here. He's the Holy One, please. Let him be adored, he is here just to worship him. My greatest reward, he is here in our midst. He's here, hallelujah. Clap your hands again if you believe that tonight. It's the resurrection morning. God's children all are home. What a glorious celebration as we shout around the throne. Unspeakable the glory, the warmth of his embrace. I don't know about you, but I'm going to praise his name forever in that place. He, he's here. Come on, let's celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is here. He's the Holy One. Let him be adored. He is here just to worship him. My greatest reward, he is here. You believe he's here? Stand to your feet again and give him a standing ovation for he is worthy of our praise. Come on, sing it to him. Oh yes, he is here. Let's celebrate. The presence of the Lord, he is here. He's the Holy One. Let him be adored, he is just to worship him. Our greatest reward, he is here. Thank you, Lord, for being here tonight in our midst. And I love you for it. He's here, he's over there, he's over there, he's all over here, all over this church tonight. Worship him with me.